Hi everyone and welcome back to Stroke Imaging. This is case number one out of four. We're going to go through some cases uh, where you see some vascular imaging and we'll talk a little bit about the findings and how you can interpret your own stroke imaging. So this case is a 66 year old with dysarthria and difficulty walking. Here you see a single image from a head CT kind of in the centrum semio valley so above the level of the ventricles. If I'm looking, I'm looking at the gray-white differentiation. I see, uh, I see gray matter kind of coating the white matter, except for maybe over here in the right frontal lobe. I see a little bit of diffuse hypodensity, maybe a little bit of loss of gray-white differentiation there. So here are my results from CT perfusion. I have the rapid processing here. You can see that it's identified an area where the cerebral blood volume uh, flow rather is less than 30%, uh, an area of about 57 milliliters. And so it's in that area where we saw hypodensity on CT. But if we look at the Tmax, it's detecting a much larger area of elevated Tmax. So there's a much larger area of tissue at risk. Here you see these blown up images just show the same thing. Loss of blood flow in this right frontal area, but the Tmax is very elevated throughout the entire cerebral hemisphere. Here's uh, some images from the CTA. Uh, if we look, it looks like uh, there's, uh, we're going to scroll through this CTA here, see what's going on, some motion in the neck as we go up. All right, we get there. Hold on a second. Hold on. We get to this right carotid, and you can see at the carotid bifurcation, we're going to bifurcate into the external carotid and internal carotid, and we kind of lose the internal carotid there. Um, so there we go. And so as we come up, that internal carotid artery is occluded in the neck. If we look at the images from the MRA, we see a very diminutive filling of the right internal carotid artery and MCA and branches there. So this is a case in which the right internal carotid artery is occluded in the neck. On the CT perfusion, we see there's a large penumbra with a smaller core. The patient went on to get an MRI uh, after reperfusion, and they had an infarct in that area that you could already see on CT. So in the area of core, a little bit smaller area back here, which went on to complete. But the resulting stroke was much smaller than the original perfusion deficit, uh, particularly given a right ICA complete occlusion in the neck. That's the first out of our four cases. Be sure to tune back in to check out the rest of the cases. And if you haven't seen it, go back and check out the overview of stroke imaging and general approach to stroke. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to like and subscribe.